Hello people, my name is JJ Mutondo. I travel the world. If you are planning a trip to Barbados, you're gonna need to know what to do and what not to do. I'm gonna show you five things that you should do and five things that you should not do. So watch to the very end to be fully prepared for your trip in Barbados, right? Now before we continue, you have to do my favor. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's go. Let's start with what you should do. Number one, save your money and have a budget. Barbados can be expensive to some people. So you're gonna have to make sure you come here with a decent amount of money and you have a budget in mind according to what you want to do, what you want to see, what you want to eat, what you want to drink, where you want to go, the adventures, the gas, where we're gonna be staying. You have to have all these things prepared, you know? Number two rent a car it makes things way easier because there's no uber in barbados taxis can be very costly and also the public transportation some visitors find it confusing you know now you have to keep this in mind though in barbados you drive on the left of the road and the steering wheel is in the right of the car you have to understand that before you come here. That may be different for some of y'all, you know? So keep that in mind. If you're gonna be driving in Barbados, be aware that there are lots of roundabouts. Become very aware of how to operate with the roundabouts. It's simple, but just make sure that you understand it. Number three, always walk around with cash. Some places in Barbados are cash only. They don't accept card, Venmo, cash app, all that. nah walk with cash and i'd suggest you walk around with barbados dollars right number four get repellent understand the mosquitoes here are relentless they're raucous they're hungry the savages avoid these mosquitoes at all cause people these mosquitoes are public enemy number one over here trust me i hate them mosquitoes man and also get one of those electric rockets man Go feather on them, man. Back on, yeah, man. You come in here, whew, Wimbledon, boy. Yeah, smack them, man. And when you smack them, they're gonna start shaking and... You know what I mean? It's gonna smell like if you're doing barbecue. Cook them, man. Hate is a strong word. The only thing I hate in the world is the devil and mosquitoes. Look, number five, you should use sunblock. It's very possible that you'd get sunburn if you're not accustomed to these temperatures, you know? And that also goes to you, my fellow heavily melanated beings. Listen, I don't get sunblock because I'm an island boy, you know? Yeah, I ain't new to this, I true to this. Before we get to the what you should not do, like this video and subscribe to my channel, people. Five things you should not do. Number one, don't wear camouflage. It's not as though you'll be arrested if you wear it, but there's a chance that you'll be told to change your clothes, you know? I just recommend you don't. If you do, just be prepared to change into something else, you know? Number two, do not pet the wild monkeys. Listen, this is no Disney Channel movie. This is no Cartoon Network. This ain't Lion King. This ain't Icy. Listen, people, these monkeys ain't no fairy tale beings. This is, this is real life, people. Don't be running out here trying to pet monkeys and give them bananas like they're your friends, bruh. These monkeys ain't your friends, bruh. Leave these monkeys alone, for real. If you want to pet them and feed them, go to the Wildlife Reserve or go to Welshman Hall Gully. Don't be out there trying to play that use Dr. Doolittle or something, bruh. Number three, don't, 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 and I mean don't under any circumstance, little. You come into Barbados because you think it's beautiful and you think it look nice on the internet and you've heard great stories and you've heard how clean it is and how blue the waters are. So keep it that way. Don't be going to Barbados to litter and pollute the environment, bro. What's wrong with you? Number four. Listen, do not touch the manchineal trees. Stay away from the fruits and just don't touch them, right? When it rains, do not be under the manchineal tree. They're very toxic and poisonous. If that sap gets on your skin, it could cause blisters and it's gonna burn, you know? If it goes in your eyes, you could turn blind, bruh. Now you're gonna be wondering, but JJ, how do I know if it's a manchineal tree? Well, let me tell you, there are these red bands around the tree, like a red band of paint around the tree. 
to tell you to stay away. Number five, I think this one is very important. Now, the fifth thing that you should not do is take the safety for granted. It's a very safe country, it is, but you know, everywhere is going to have crime. Operate in a smart way, people, you know. Look at the times you're out, look at the areas you're in, look at who's around you, you know what I mean? Don't be at the beach in, at certain times, in certain places. Move correctly, man. Like, for real, you come in here, you want to have the best time of your life and you want to go back to wherever you come from, right? In one piece. There's only one way to do that. Keep yourself safe, you know? So still move with caution. Operate smartly. Don't take the safety for granted, you know? Talked about all this stuff. Now, the thing is, when you come to Barbados, you're going to want to see a lot of stuff, right? So what you can do, I'd recommend is to book an island tour. But even better than that, craft your own island tour. Make your own island tour, especially if you have access to a car. Three reasons why you should make your own island tour. Number one, you could save some money because some island tours can be expensive to some people. Number two, the second reason I'll say, some island tours don't cover places that you'd want to go to. And the third reason, you might love a certain experience so much but the tour has to continue so you have to leave you know but you are in control of your schedule when it is your island tour so that's why i think you should do that we did our own island tour we saved money we got to go to the exact places that we want to go to on our own accord and our own schedule so go check those videos out after and yeah, make your own island tour, people, you know, be your own boss, bro. Come on, be your own boss, bro. Boss up. Boss up, now. No, people, thank you very much for watching part two of this travel guide. Look, so now, since we've reached the end of it all, you know where to go, what to do, what to eat, what to drink, what beaches are the best ones. You know what you should not do. You know what you should do when you come. So look, you're ready. It's all good. Now finish pack those bags. You know what I mean? Remember all the stuff I say and check out the rest of my videos that I've made in Barbados. You can actually see my experiences at some of the places I've mentioned. There's a playlist. It, it's gonna pop up right now. This playlist has all of those videos. Go watch them. Thank you very much for your time, people.